so yeah so it is open source it is document oriented it is industry leading lot of uh, leading organizations are already using no uh, this mongodb it stands for fifth in dbms and first in no sql category so that way it is pretty popular database proven because lot of people are using it for uh, production when uh, so when you execute anything in mongodb it is executing in MapReduce fashion, so you don't need to write explicitly that MapReduce. Then there are other NoSQL databases we have already seen, so Cassandra, HBase, Hive, uh, sorry, CouchDB, and so on and so forth. So you can get support of all leading vendors in Pentaho. You can always check. So even MongoDB is supported, whereas Cassandra is also supported. HBase uh, CouchDB is supported, but there are few databases because this NoSQL is something which is mushrooming and a lot of new players are coming in and joining the this hub. So in case you don't find a, the support for that NoSQL DB out of box, you can always go to ci.community.org and find out. In case, again, you don't find it there, you can put open request in the community. And I'm sure Matt or somebody will hear and can work on that. So MongoDB example. So we're going to just read the data, paste succession data, and push it to MongoDB. So it is more like a connection, database connection. So prerequisite is MongoDB single node local cluster should be installed on your machine. In case you uh, face any difficulties, you can connect to support. We are going to use page succession as a sample data. So if I'll open it, okay, here it is. So page succession is, succession is nothing but accessing different pages. When you browse, uh, when you have your portal, multiple people are browsing different pages. So how many? How, which page has got how much uh, hits and it is its uh, location so it is tracking that complete audit so that is nothing but page successions so here first page which is about is access 504 times so we are going to pull this page succession data to MongoDB. So before that, we we'll have to ensure MongoDB is up and running. So on your on my machine, it is not up. So let me go to to MongoDB. Bin. So I am using 64 bit and MongoD. So the D for daemon. So MongoD. Let's start this this daemon. So waiting for connection on port 27017. So it means it is open. It is now in listening mode. Now we're going to cover establish the connection. So let me open. It is pretty straightforward. We are reading the data, text file input, which we have already seen. Okay, somebody is raising the hand. Can we get installation steps? Yeah, Madhu, so as I said, uh, we you would have installation steps in LMS. And it's no fancy. You just need to, it is just click on next, next. Uh, basically, it is distributing in terms of, okay, it's not there. So in installation step, you will, so you, did you get zip file or did you uh, download uh, MSI? Okay, let me uh, quickly tell you how, how do you do that using zip file. So you just explode it, that zip file, and it will create one 
folder structure. So it will uh, I have exploded exploded it here, which will contain bin folder and readme and other stuff. So go to bin, you will find all this stuff and data. So this actually data and db is something you will have to create on your own. It it doesn't come uh, with the distribution. Now you will have to give this data folder path at runtime. To avoid that, what I have done is I have added in my C drive, I have added data folder. Okay, so it's probably in my users of program data. on D itself, yeah, on D itself, it is data and DB, and this is journal demo and this, because it is installed on, uh, it is running from my D drive, you, you will have to create, uh, or rather I have created a data folder, and inside data there should be DB, so this is the structure MongoDB wants, and once it is there, then you just double click on your MongoD.exe. That's it. So there are no explicit uh, installation steps uh, required. Yeah, but if you want your custom location of uh, data, then you'll have to pass that data folder location as a command line argument. So in that case, you'll have to type in mongod space and then that, uh, I think, hyphen hyphen data and then give that location. Yeah, so this uh, text file input is a that uh, CSV, not CSV, it is semicolon. Semicolon is a separator. Okay, you're welcome, Madhu. So, this text file input, how we are going to configure, so you just select the file name. I have used while character, then content, CSV, then here the separator is semicolon, so far we use comma, enclosure is again double quotes, there is header file, so you can use one as a header, if you see here, header is key, URL, next URL, count, and then fields, populate the fields, rename them, you don't need to rename them because it is already reading from the first header. Okay, so key URL, next URL, it has already mapped it. And that's it. So once you are read, then you have to push it to MongoDB output. So we can just for the sake of illustration. So MongoDB is again in the in big data. So go to big data, go to MongoDB, we want output. And double click on that. And here you'll have to select localhost. Port is it's the default. Keep it as is. I haven't configured. So by default you don't need username password. But you can select you you'll have to configure if you want. That that will be advanced level of configuration. So if you are you are expert you can do that. Connection timeout and all we don't want. So output options. So here you can click on get DB. And you can see so it is connected. Where that's why it could pull out demo. Demo local and admin. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm parallelly connect to, so I'm using Mongo Vu. So this is the client, which is, again, I'm using trial version, just for uh, this example. But there are community versions or community tools also available. So here, you're, if you're planning to use MongoDB for long term, you can go for that. 
Okay, so this I will have to live with. I'm not going to buy. So 13 days default version it's giving, but it has good UI. Connect to what database I had already configured. So for your learning purpose, I'm going to configure it again. It is same basically. Click on localhost, type in localhost server. Okay, do you need to name what demo? Test. Okay, server is actually localhost. Server is localhost. And name is demo. You can name anything. I click on text. Or something. Oh. It says my connection is hang. I'm going to kill it. All right, demo. Here it is localhost and test and connection established successfully. Let's save it. Let's connect. And for the within demo again there is so demo is our connection name. There is demo and you will have you have collections. In collections so far there is not a single collection present. Now we are going to push the sample data in that collection. So water data is being read from our input text file will be pull, pushed to the output. So page succession txt we are using and we have already seen the structure. This is the structure. MongoDB step, we have seen how to add it. Okay, so here are few things. So database demo we have already selected collection page succession that so in output we had selected demo which is from the drop down. Okay, get db and then you can see demo in the drop down. Here page succession, you will have to explicitly type in because it's not existing. If there are already existing collections, then you can select from the drop down. Batch size insert again, depending on your requirement. Truncate collection, so it will ensure, so that one question, so it will ensure it will truncate the data first and then it will push the data. By the way, this truncate option is also available while performing RDBMS like here when you're writing the data here truncate table option is already selected so in fact we were truncating manually it was not required so we are going to execute the job We have seen here in collection there was none. Okay, it is finished. It's pretty fast. In fact, data was much lesser. Now we are going to refresh. So let me be great. So we can see, yeah, page succession is added. And you have different views. 
So this is tree view where each record is rendered like this. Second is table view and text view. So text view each row is interpreted as a JSON object whereas in table view it is more like our database view. Okay, Madhu, uh, you have any question? Is the data distributed? Oh, are you saying in MongoDB? Yeah, absolutely. So in, in MongoDB, data will always be uh, in distributed mode. But right now, this MongoDB which I have configured is a single node uh, instance. Then, okay, not in Mongo. So are you talking about Pentaho? Yeah, in, in Pentaho, if you have configured Pentaho uh, PDI to run in uh, clustered mode, then in that case, but even in that case, data is not really distributed, but it can be centralized. For example, if you have configured your repository in database, instead of right, like uh, right now we are using file-based repository, if you have configured it as for database-based uh, repository, in that case, all the data will be resided at single place. But if your database itself is distributed, then yes, it will be distributed, but otherwise it will be centralized. So inherently, it doesn't have distributed data uh, capability. So this was all about MongoDB.